Now I'm going to go over how to create and share a shared album in Google Photos. That way you can share it with anybody else who uses Google Photos. You can also share it to um, people who don't have Google Photos and they will be able to see the photos in that album through a website, basically. Um, and Photos does work on uh, iPhones and Android phones. I'm showing you how to do this on an Android phone, but it's gonna work pretty much the same exact way on an iPhone. And I'll try to point out what the differences are throughout this video. So first you wanna jump into Google Photos. And once you have it open, there are a couple different ways to create a shared album. Um, you can go to the sharing tab and create one from here. Um, there's a few other ways, but what I find is the easiest is to just scroll through and find one of the photos you want to have in that shared album, like this one, and tap and hold on it and select the plus button at the top here. Um, that's on an Android phone, I believe on an iOS device such as an iPhone, it would show up down at the bottom, but there will be a plus icon, just tap on that. From there, you'll wanna select shared album, but you can also create many other things here. You can also add it to a previous shared album if you have any, and those will show up down here or any other albums. But we're gonna do create shared album. From here, you can go ahead and label the album if you want to. You can also add more photos if you want to to the album, select add, and then you can share it. You can always add more photos and edit the name of the album at a later date. You don't have to do that all right now. So we'll select share. And from here, you'll see a list of people here who um, you have email addresses for and stuff through your contacts, or you'll have more options down at the bottom here Again, on an iPhone, this will look a little different, um, but it'll be the same kind of concept. You can just send a text message to people. You can copy a link to this album, so you can send that through any other means, email, Slack, whatever um, you want to use. You can also select more, and that will give you some more options depending on what you don't see here. If you have more apps and stuff that support Google Photos, they'll pop up in there. But we're just gonna go ahead and click get a link. We'll select create link. And there, we've copied the link. So we can go ahead and text that to whoever we want or email that to whoever we want to. And when they select that link, if they use Google Photos and they have the app on their phone and they're in the email app on their phone and they tap that link, it'll pop them right into the Google Photos app to that shared album. Same if they do it through a text message. Um, if they don't have Google Photos, it'll just take them to a website um, that has that album on there and everything. And from there, they can, say they're on a desktop, they can log into their Gmail account and add it to their Google Photos if need be. But if we jump back into the app here, you can now see we've shared it with whoever we want. Um, we can add photos to it by tapping this button and it'll show you which photos are already added to it by these kind of gray check marks. And you can go and add more if you want to and select add. You can also get that link. So if you tap on this, um, you can say copy link down at the bottom or you can um, automatically add photos of people if you use the facial recognition stuff in Google Photos. We go back, you can also directly add people by clicking the screen plus button. It'll be a different color on your phone, but if you tap that, again, brings up this share sheet uh, down at the bottom. Um, some other options and stuff you're gonna wanna go ahead and adjust are in the three dot menu here. So if you tap the three dots in the top right hand corner, um, you get a bunch of other options here. Again, another share option. Um, but you can also just select the options. And this is the same page we were at before, just a different way to get to it. Um, and you can see some sliders here to turn on or off. Um, 
one I suggest making sure is on is that this is an album. Um, so you've gone on a family vacation, you created this album and shared it with the family and you want them to be able to add photos to it. If they use Google photos, you want to make sure the collaborate, uh, button is on or else they will not be able to add photos to this album. So just make sure that's on, um, and it may update the page to look something like this. Um, now we can also share photos locations. So um, most phones these days geotag the location where the photo was taken. Um, and you can share that information in the album if you want to or not. You can turn it off and you can see these things popped back up. Sometimes it takes a minute to load. So those are on. You can also turn off comments and likes or turn them on. It's up to you. But you just want to make sure you turn on collaborate if you want other people to be able to add photos to this album. If you share this album and people are like, I can't add my own photos to it, it's because that collaborate um, toggle is not on. It is off. Um, so you just want to make sure you do that. Again, you can copy the link from here and invite more people from here if you want to. But that's how you go ahead and create a shared album and share it with whoever you want uh, in Google Photos. Hopefully this video helps, and if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this one on how to make your technology work better for you. Thanks.